Handed over four classrooms at Peninkotza High School outside Malamlele. The school was refurbished by the SABC Foundation in partnership with the MTN Foundation. The roof of the school was ripped off by a storm more than a year ago. Yes, here we go. Fully refurbished classrooms to ensure learners finally have a roof over their heads. The storm blew off their roof over a year ago and left them learning in the open. All I have to do is use this. I can play that and I can see that that is a longitudinal wave. I can hide the labels. Wow. Yeah. Show the labels. With this initiative, the SABC Foundation has reached out to the Dupe Rural. Um, as the SABC Foundation, we're so, we're so privileged to be here today. You know, there's been a lot of challenges in the Guiani area around schooling. So for us to be able to give back to the school and repair this roof, has been, it's, been, it's been wonderful for us. There's a lot of work we are doing. There's much more we can do if resources come. That's why we invite partners like MTF Foundation, SABC Foundation. If they come on board, they just help us to accelerate where government doesn't have resources to deal with. The Department of Communications has applauded those involved. Hence then we went out, went out and approached MTN Foundation, SABC Foundation. We assured the chief to say through partnership between government and businesses, something will happen. A much welcomed intervention by those who need it the most. That was really painful because we couldn't learn good, even though Learners usually go out so early when there is rain and cold. But now I can say we are really gratified because we got a roofing in our school and we'll have a good learning condition. Pelane Pahadi, SABC News, Penicosta, Malamulele. And for more on that story, we are joined by our reporter Pelani Pahadi in Limpopo. Pelani, do give us more information about this project. Yes, uh, thank you very much. Um, this project, indeed, uh, uh, by the communication department and, department, and uh, uh, the Department of Education in the province, together with MTN and SABC foundations, they believe that this is not the, the last time that they, they, they combine uh, and, and make a project. They believe that they will still go ahead and make more other projects in, in, in the province and also in widespread in, 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 in the country where where needy schools, or should I say schools which, which have dilapidated structures and also have uh, a lack of ICT uh, uh, infrastructure, uh, I mean ICT staff, they will, be, they will be given that opportunity to have them and they will be, uh, I could say, they will, they will be given the, that particular opportunity through teaching uh, the learners and also through uh, workshopping the, 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 the teachers on how to use a specific um, um, ICT infrastructure. So the, this particular project aims not only in developing the I ICT world, but also to try and make sure that those particular schools which, has, which have dilapidated structures have some plight restored to them. And has this project uh, identified other schools that might need the same kind of assistance? Already, um, the uh, the, the Department of Education has highlighted to us that there was a, uh, there's a, a already a school which is was handed over in Mangwing, which has similar uh, infrastructure, and they, they have made sure that um, they, they fix the roof, they also fix the dilapidated uh, infrastructure, and a, bit, uh, and a bit of ICT, meaning uh, your computer labs and so on. So they say that they have, they have already uh, handed over such schools, and they plan to do more in the, in the province, and the Department of, of Communication says it will also partner with, with other businesses to make it happen in the, in the rest of the country. Studio. And Pilani, what's been the reaction of the learners, the teachers, as well as the community? Well, just after the, 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 the clip that you just played now, you could, you could feel from the learner that he says he was very much um, in pain to learn under certain or or circumstances that he had to, to endure. He, he was forced to learn under his coaching son, uh, even though it was inside the structures, but it, it had no roof. When it was a rainy day, they had nowhere else to go but home. So the, the learners are happy, and they, they believe that with this kind of infrastructure, they are going to go ahead and forge ahead to get better results. The, the, the parents, um, they, they, they had 
mouthful to say uh, to us, even though we couldn't uh, be able to package them online, I mean, on our package due to a lot of, of interviews that we already had. But we, you, you could feel what they had said. Um, you, you, they want more, and they believe with this little infrastructure that they have, their children will be able to do more, their priority to be restored, and they'll be able to make perhaps their great talks to get better marks. That was our reporter, Pelani Pakhadi, coming to us from Limbopo.